Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be doing a quick brain piece or brain puzzle. So, the game is double chess, which means that every player, when you make a move, every player makes two moves at every single point in their turn. So, you make a move. Say if I want to move a pawn up, then I can move another pawn again. I make two moves, then the other player makes two moves, I make two moves, the other player makes two moves, so on and so forth. If there's a check, there's a way we handle that. If there's a check, you only make one move. If... Um, yeah, you only make the move that gives the check. And I think that's about it. Every, all of the other rules are pretty much the same. Now, we need to prove that the second play, that the first player can, that there exists a strategy for the first player to guarantee at least a draw. So either a win or a draw. And this is absolutely beautiful. Now, I invite you to pause and think about this for a minimum of five minutes. Ideally, 20 to 40, but not more than an hour and a half. And the only thing you need to know are, is how the pieces in the chess board, in the chess game move. Okay? And now here's the solution. When I give this to friends, they will try to first and foremost think about, okay, how can I quickly mate the other person? Can I like, you know, quickly like, get a pawn out, get my pit bishop out, and then like, Oh, but then there's like so many combinations of move. They can have eight, four, so 12, and then another, actually not 12, there's about 20 moves they can make in the first. And just, so there's 400 moves that I need to have responses to. Oh, then there's like a knight, but the only ones that matter are this one. And they get, get lost. Inevitably, they get lost. They're trying to like find a winning strategy. Versus the problem isn't asking you to describe the winning strategy. Just saying, sure, there has to be one. Prove to me there has to be a winning strategy. And the way we do this is by thinking in terms of assume that there isn't, say there's not a winning strategy for the first player. Say the second player has a winning strategy. Well, then the first player will take their knight. This is, this is a knight. Well, that's actually not that, that's not horrible. Uh, the first player will then take their knight, put it outside, and then put it back inside. And now the second player is sort of the first player. So, and now the second player has a winning strategy. But now the, the player that played first is no longer the second player, it's the second player that's the first player now. Like they switched who, the positions, this is so-called positional analysis in games, which is a fancy term for saying, okay, if I'm playing first, okay, the player who's playing in this position, are they going to win or lose? And if the answer is they're going to win, what does it mean that they're going to win? Well, it means that they can get to another state where the player who needs to play is going to lose. And what does it mean to lose? Well, it means that no matter which position you move to, the other player will win. The other player will be winning in that position. That's what winning and losing means in sort of like analyzing. It's like a fancy term for just like analyzing, okay, what happens there, what happens there. And here, that's the case. Here, the thing is, if the first player cannot, if there isn't a strategy, so if the first player doesn't have a winning strategy, and that means that the second player has either a drawn or a winning strategy. So I just boom, boom, and now I'm the second player. I have a draw or a winning strategy. Now, if you had a winning strategy, the game would be a draw. If you, like if, if the second player, if the first player doesn't have a winning strategy, it's a draw. But I, I mean, this just finishes up the problem. It's a cool little problem. And actually this was back when I was in Hong Kong at the IMO, they had this, or was it Thailand? It was either Thailand or Hong Kong that they had this like magazine that they would like put like some teasers or problems. I think it was Thailand, now that I think about it. And they put out this little chess puzzle. And I remember being on the bus and thinking about it, being like, oh, that's cool. And so this is a cool little problem, just gets you to think about combinatorics, shows all the principle, and that solves our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.